Okay, I'm gonna have to stop right here. Uh, from This is from the video tutorial, which is pretty good. I learned it from there again uh, after all these years. And uh, yeah, it worked out quite well. I just follow it, you know, piece by piece, one by one, and everything turns out perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop right here because this stick is too small, making it take forever to do this circle so uh i'm just gonna go up and make this one into a cylinder so what i'm gonna do that is wherever you end at okay i'm gonna do one more knot to make it a little taller like so and then loop it and put it into my first uh single hole right there okay let's see this from here okay so i stick in there wrap it Go up. So here you can do it, uh, the uh, knot two times. You can see this two hole. So you can get the string inside the double first, and then the, this one last. So you go it, go inside, bring it into the single, uh, to the to the double, and then and then to the last string. Yeah. Okay, and then you just repeat. So you're right here, um, and then wrap it around. Right, and then we want to put in there. Yeah. So once you're in there, hook it. There you have it. Go into the first two. And then there. So as you can see, it's beginning to stand up like this. And, 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 then keep on going. There. Keep on going. Dig it in. Okay. One last time right here. Um, uh, slowing down, wrap it, right, put it into that hole right there, hook it, you have two, and you have that, and then, oh, let me there, so I'm ending up right here, as you can see, it's standing up, I'm going all the way around, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back at the beginning and that's what I have so far standing up looking pretty good. So let's unknot this together. Uh, so tying this at the beginning, put my finger in here. That's the beginning, right? So I'm gonna put my needle in there where it stands up. So just remember right there. And where it stands up, which would be that one, or one above it, doesn't matter. Okay, so I stick my needle on there, and then hook it, bring it out. There you go. And uh, you want to tie it together so you don't do two knot. You just uh, bring it back into the first. Bring it back into the first. Let's see if we can do it. Ah, I just lost that. Okay, so it's right here. Okay, there you go. Uh, bring this into there. So hard to do from this camera. Okay, restart. So I just finished my round and I'm gonna tie it together. So this is where the first loop is, right here. And where it stands up tall, which is up here. Um, that's where I'm putting my new y'all in. Okay, and then get it through right there. And then remember, if we're knotting it, that we just want to pull it together. It's hard to do with the iPad right in front of me. <laughs> Hook it through single so that it can tie it. So now when you look at it, 
You see, all oh, this right here connects. You see a nice line right there. So you can start your third row. So once again, in order to do that, you make this one one more knot so that it can become taller. And then you start your round again. Loop in here. Got three, go in two, go in one, and continue throughout. Let's see you in a bit later. All right, so we are here. So obviously you're gonna continue to make it bigger and bigger so that it can fit your flask. But I had to stop right here just for demonstration. Also, because this stick is taking me too long to finish anything. All right, so I am going to finalize this uh, at the last part where I am knotting it together. I did, okay, so I connect them together in one knot and I'm gonna make a handle. So I am going to go back to basic and do a few of these simple uh, strings. Hold it right here, keep on going. So this will be the handle part uh, to carry your, um, you know, your flask. Mess that up. Okay, be right back. All right, so I'm done with the string right here. All you have to do is uh, first, you make sure that it's facing the same way. So um, this right here, the knots and these, or the back, I want the knot right here with the two thingy thing and the flare out, whatever. I uh, that I want that one to show on the top. So here is my cylinder, and then I want that to face on my top, which means I'm gonna tie this one right here, just right across from it, the um, diameter. Okay, so halfway, and then you put it in. Uh, do I want to? Yeah, I want to connect that to two of them instead of just one. Okay, so connecting them together, I hook it in. Remember, when we are connecting, we are doing one loop so that it can knot it together. Okay, there you go, right there. Okay, so from here, now this is perfect for this little cylinder, which makes it a basket. But on your flask, it's going to be bigger and heavier with weight of the water and ice. So you want to make this band thicker to hold. Uh, so we're going to do the same concept right here for this part. Okay, so I am going to go over to this side right here. And I will knot it one more time to make it taller. Remember, we said that. Oop, messing up on that. Okay, there you go. Okay. And then I turn this around. Um, I am actually, so when I make it taller, it's going to hang. So it'll be weird. So I, I want it not to hang out and actually attach to uh, my basket in this case. Um, tie it right there. It doesn't matter if it's one or two. And then there. And then inside, one more inside that hole. Okay, so now that's good. Okay, so once that's complete in there, that means that width is tied. Think of this as a rectangle, right? So that width right here is tied to the basket. Okay, so here we go. Loop it, same process. Make sure that this one is facing out so you can see what you're doing. Turn it over, put it in, loop it up. Oh, now you have three, remember that? All right, and then you're gonna, you're gonna go in two, and then you're gonna go in one, the last one. And then repeat. Go to the next one, loop it, got three. Going into two, going into one. Okay, so there you go. 
take a look see that rectangle right there that width part is attached to the basket so it's not dangling out it's right attached to it so i'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and finish the rest of them so i am right here where i finished see the handle and uh the last part where i need to knot it you see that this is uh the width right here that is not connected to the basket so that's what i'm gonna do first loosen up cut the string so that the whole thing is out of my way okay so here we are right there okay oh, it's hard to maneuver this <laughs> Okay, so it matches up like right there. So that's where I'm gonna get it at. Maybe I just do two knots so that it can be tightly secured right there. All right, so basically I was right here and I put my needle in here, puncture it in, and then grab the yarn out right there. So as you can see, we have this, but remember I, what I said, that if you want to tie it together, you got to knot it. And when you do, you got to pull that knot into the first one. So it can't be two, it has to be one. Make that two become a one. A one. Slip through. Pull out. And that's a knot. And then you're going to tie it. that so that it can secure so there you go right there you can do it one more time if you like just to be extra careful and like just to be certain that it stays but one should be good enough take this cut it and you are done there you go your little flask holder aka basket that isn't that cute